Happy Tuesday. Time for Tidbit Tuesdays. Okay, so I thought I would start a series about being healthier because that ties to health insurance because the healthier you are, the less your health costs are going to be and it gives you more options for health care. Why is that? Because then we don't have to worry about certain medications being covered, going to a doctor every month. There's a whole bunch of things that if you're just healthier overall, it's going to save you money. So talking about things that are in your control, I get some people have things that are out of their control, but many things are in our control. So let's begin. So one of the things you can do for being healthier is ensuring that what you're putting in your body is good stuff. So how can you do that? Well, don't eat foods that have preservatives. Try to eat fresh whenever possible. If you want to do organic, do organic. Uh, the foods we eat now are a lot less nutri nutri nutritious <laughs> than they were many, many years ago that our grandparents ate. Uh, there's a lot of factors. I'm not going to get into the reason why. It's just that's what it is, right? Everything is is less healthy. Um, so when things are less healthier, maybe supplementation is an answer, and I'm going to get into that in, in further along in the series about different supplements you can take. But right now, I'm thinking about immediate things you can do to make yourself healthier. So obviously, we went through a pandemic. A lot of people were focused on their health or lack of health at that point. And one of the things people don't realize, well, several things. Doctors don't talk to you about nutrition. It's really sad. I've talked to several doctors who say they don't even teach nutrition in medical school, which to me is insane because what you are what you eat, right? Uh, the old saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away is actually true. <laughs> So you want to put good things into your body and certainly eating the right things can alter um, how your body re reacts to outside things, whether it be viruses, infection, uh, cancers, all those things. You, you can enhance your, your own well-being and even your immune system by doing some of the right things. You start with baby steps. You can, you know, some people are like all in or nothing. You do what's comfortable for you. That's what I tell everyone. This is not here. I'm not here to try to bash anybody or tell anybody what to do. I'm here to give tips and suggestions. So that being said, um, eating well. Again, I said no preservatives. Fast food is terrible for you. You probably know this, <laughs> but all the different things that are in it are not good things. So you want to try to avoid fast foods. Um, and then something that people just don't realize is that one of the, let me step back a second. Let me go back to the foods. So Food, what, but what you put on your body is equally as important. Your, your skin is the largest organ in your body, and you're absorbing things through your skin. There's a lot of things we can't control in our environment, the things we breathe in maybe. Um, if, if you have a job that exposes you to different kinds of fumes and toxins, you know, it is what it is, but... For us, if we can minimize those things by not adding to it, by the shampoo we use or the lotion we use. So there's these two really cool apps. One is called Yucca, Y-U-K-A. Uh, there's a little carrot in the middle of it. And that one is really great for scanning. You scan the UPC code and you can scan it to see what ingredients are in the products you're using. So they will rate products for you. You know, excellent, of course, would be excellent, but there's some that are poor, some that say bad. <laughs> and then what you can do is look at the ingredients and they list it, the worst ingredients first. So you can see what that ingredient is and then it actually gives you what it can do to your body. So I like that because it's really cool because again, uh, certain things we wanna try to minimize, but 
there are other things like, well, do I want to take that risk? So I'll use sunless tanning lotion as an example. It does have an ingredient that's considered a little bit toxic, but it's in all sunless tanning lotions. So you have to decide, are you going to use that very often or are you not going to use it at all? Or you don't care, you're just going to use it. A lot of things in uh, our cosmetics and our lotions and that are endocrine disruptors, what that means is it can affect your metabolic system, which maybe if you're having trouble losing weight, but you're still doing all the right things with eating and exercise, that may be the culprit. You might want to look at things that you're putting on your body because they could be disrupting your endocrine system and making it harder for you to lose weight. So that Yucca app is really cool because I've tossed a whole bunch of things when I found out, oh, I don't, you know, that's a big long name that you can't pronounce. Usually it's not good for you, <laughs> but I've tossed a whole bunch of stuff because I just don't want that stuff on my body. And, and there are certain companies, e even some, some companies that most of their products are good. Every product you should, you should test, no matter which company it comes from, because occasionally like the sunless tanning stuff, um, can't get around it. There's going to be one or two ingredients in there that you can't avoid if you want the product to work. So that's important. The other app is called um, EWG Healthy Living. It's green. Looks like it has a little thumbprint maybe in the middle of it. And that can work for a lot of other things. Detergents, uh, fabric softer, which is incredibly toxic no matter what brand you buy. I make, I use my own. I use essential oils to create my own scent that I put in the dryer. Um, lots of products that you're using on an everyday basis, soap, shampoos, um, dishwashing liquid, all the things that can leave residues <laughs> or go on your skin. Uh, if you want to try to eliminate some of those from, from your life, then that would be awesome because that will um, actually help you be healthier. So those two apps are super important if, if you want to try to eliminate some of those toxic things in your environment. And again, I'm gonna continue this series. I'm gonna to try to keep each episode short, but there's so much information I can give you about doing healthier things that again, will, will save you dollars. Some of the, yes, maybe you are spending a little more money on certain products. You know, I can tell you if you're going to Walmart and buy the $1.99 sunscreen, it's probably incredibly toxic. Uh, maybe you do want to spend more money on a better product that is not going to be toxic to you because in the long run, you're going to spend a whole lot more money on healthcare if you don't spend a little bit of money now to make sure you're staying healthy. So until next week, peace out.